How to have a conversation with your ex. 1. Consider your personal communication style. Everyone has a slightly different communication style, something that can affect the way your ex-girlfriend understands what you say. If you have a better understanding of your personal communication style, you can understand the way they could interpret you. This can help you avoid confusion and conflicts, but it also allows you to modify your style in case your ex-partner does not react well to the one you usually use. For example, if you normally appear to be very direct but you know that your ex-partner is easily scared, you may have to reduce the degree of openness you use, at least at the beginning. Affiliation communicators tend to prefer collaboration. When they need to make a decision, they get different opinions from several people before reaching a conclusion. This means that they are very likely to hear what their partners suggest and take that opinion into account when reaching a conclusion. Competitive communicators love power and dominance. They tend to make decisions on their own without the help of anyone. They are probably assertive, although not necessarily aggressive, direct and sometimes challenge those who disagree with them. Direct communicators are just that, direct. They say everything as it is and do not go by the tangent. If you want something specific, they will tell you. If they don't like something you do, they'll let you know. This openness allows these communicators to be understood very quickly. In general, there is not much confusion regarding what they want. Occasionally, these types of communicators may give the impression of being strong or aggressive. Indirect communicators have trouble telling others what they think, want or need. They could make inferences about the things they expect someone to understand by reading between the lines. These communicators tend to generate a lot of confusion and misunderstanding, but they may also seem less aggressive. 2. Don't forget to be an active listener. Listening is a crucial part of any type of communication. Taking into account the things your ex-partner tells you, what he says and what he means, is typical of active listening. This technique is even more important when you think about all the distractions you probably face during a conversation. Things such as cell phone, cars honking, television, people talking, etc. They have a way of diverting your attention from your partner and redirecting it to another side. There are many things in particular that you can do to become a better active listener. Rethink and summarize what you just heard. Feel free to rethink what they have told you using words that can clarify and simplify the message. By rethinking and summarizing what you heard, your ex-partner will not only know that you paid attention, but also if you really understood his point of view. Do not interrupt. If your ex-partner tries to tell you something, pay attention to her by making eye contact and nodding or saying things that encourage her to continue. Let her express what she wants to say without forcing her to stop and lose the theme's laughter. This means that you must remain silent while the other person is thinking or when you try to choose the correct words to use. Make questions. If there is something you do not understand or need clarification, ask questions. If you think your ex-partner has only addressed a particular thought or feeling superficially, ask him questions to make him go into more detail. 3. Provide ways to communicate. Keep the combination of your communication style and active listening techniques from undermining what your ex-partner tries to tell you. This is especially important if one of the reasons for the breakdown of the relationship was due to poor communication or lack thereof. If the communication styles used previously did not help, you should try something new this time or you will not be able to move on. There are several things that it is useful to remember not to do when having a conversation with your ex-partner. 4. Speak in the first person. If you try to explain to your ex-partner the way you feel, or felt, do not turn it into a blame session where you only list all the things that bothered you, such as you always ignored me, you never wanted to happen time with me or you always wanted to spend time with your other friends. On the contrary, make sure you use first-person phrases, such as I felt you ignored me, it bothered me every time I didn't spend much time with you or sometimes I felt you left me aside. If you liked this video, share it on your WASP, in addition to your social networks, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now please write us a comment. I send you a big hug. Do not forget to also ask for advice on the link in the description of this video, where it says click here. Thank you.